in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a movie roll in GIMP 2.6. Okay, uh, let's begin. First open up GIMP and then go to File, New and create an image with the size of 300 by 300 pixels. Now go to Advanced Options and fill with white and then click OK and first we can make the edges so go to the layer dialog and make a new image a uh, new layer so click on this white piece of paper and then call this layer edge Click OK and now go to your Rectangle Select tool and then select the rounded corners with a radius of 5 and make a selection, a rectangle with rounded corners like this. And now go to your bucket filter, change your foreground color into this color of gray and the HTML annotation is C1C1C1, click OK and then click on your rectangle. And now go to select none. Now go back to your rectangle select tool. Rounded corners is still ticked, and now I select fixed with the expect ratio of 1 by 1 to make a perfect square. And now make a square like this. And now press delete on your keyboard to um, delete everything what in that square. And now go to your. And now we're gonna make. Now we're gonna create guides. It's very easy to. It's very easy to create them. But first go to select. Oh, select none. And I'm gonna move the toolbox down a bit. And then you see here a little ruler. And click and drag your cursor to the middle of the screen. To the screen. And then you're seeing a line, and that's called a guide. And move the guide to the side of your white deleted square. And do it again, but now on the right side of the square. Like this. And now we go and now go back to your Rectangle select tool with the same settings, rounded corners, radius 5 and fixed expect ratio 1 by 1 and then make a square like this. You're going very fast to create and with the exact same size because of your guide. And you tick fixed and that's very helpful too. And the guides can help with uh, this sort of things. And now go to, and now press delete on your keyboard. And uh, I now and where guides are helpful for, um, where yeah you can do more with uh, uh, with guides. And I made another video. Um, where you can see what you can do with guides and but now I drag the selection down a bit and press delete again drag delete drag delete drag delete and you keep going on and you keep going on doing this um, until you reach the bottom of the edge. 
I think that's fine and now go to select none now uh, we're gonna make the right image the right edge but we're not doing this over we're not gonna do the same but we have to duplicate copy this uh, edge but first of all we have to remove this guide because otherwise it's um it's very annoying that's in that there's um to create the rest of the image so go to image guides remove all guides and now all the guides are gone and now we're gonna uh, go to your layer dialog and make sure the edge is selected and then click on this duplicate icon now go to your move tool so click on move the active layer click once on your edge and then move it to the right with your arrow keys or you can use guides but this is um, this is easier and now we're gonna make squares here so go to layer dialog and create a new layer and call this layer square and click ok now go to your rectangle select tool Take rounded corners, but fixed is still selected, and make a square like this. Like this, and now go to your bucket fill tool and change your foreground color into this color of brown, and the HTML notation is E1B34F. I said again because I, I, I said it very fast. E one B three four F, and I click OK, and I click once in your circle, and now go to select none, and now we're gonna, and now we're going to create here and here two black lines go to your pencil tool with the brush circle zero three with the default settings and now I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you're seeing it very clear so you're seeing it um, good now press and hold shift Click once here, and now I see a little plus there. That's good. Oh, now we're seeing nothing because we first have to change the foreground color into black. It's your annotation six times zero, and now you can do it. But um, now you're seeing that the line was uh, not straight and just press Ctrl Z on your keyboard to, uh, to remove the line and undo what you did. Like this again. Ctrl Z. until you have a very straight line like this and now we're gonna make a line here but if you sh uh, sh press shift you see that the plus is already selected here but that's not what we want to so go to the toolbox and click on another tool and go back to your pencil tool and now you see if you press shift there's not a plus selected over there now shift Press and hold shift, click once there, and there. Like this, and now we have to copy this twice. 
So go to your layer dialog and make sure square is selected. And duplicate this twice by clicking on this icon twice. And make sure square copy is selected. Go to your move tool. Move the active layer is still selected. Click on the square once and then move your arrow piece down. Like this. Make sure square copy number one is selected. Click once on the square and then move down with your arrow keys. Like this. And I think there can be a fourth one here. So go to your layer dialog, click once on one of the squares, it doesn't matter which one, because it's all the same. And click on this duplicate icon, click once and move it down. Yes. And now if you're not agreed with the position of the squares, just um, go to your layer dialog and Click on these three eyes to make them invisible and now go to layer or uh, image, sorry, image, merge visible layers or go or just press Ctrl M with your, uh, on your keyboard. Click on that and click merge. Now you see everything's one layer and call this one squares. Change it into, and by changing a name, just double click on the name and then rename it, and then press enter. And now, and now make sure everything is visible again. And now I'm seeing this, and actually, that's it. This and this is the removable, but I have and I had to say something. One, uh, one thing, um, if you want to um, copy this to your website or on something else, um, it's not. It's um, you don't you don't have to um, you you. Um, it's not handy to uh, copy it like this. Just go to your layer dialog and click on the little eye on before in front of background. Now go back to image, merge visible layers, merge, and you can change the name into movie wall. Press OK. Now uh, press Enter. Sorry, and. Now again go to image, but this time click on auto crop image. Now you see this and now go to edit, copy visible or no, just shift control C on your keyboard and then click on it and then paste it um, to where you want it. And this was and this was a tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, you can maybe watch my other my other ones and subscribe. Subscribe and thank you for watching.